Hello, how is everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. This is the channel of the loquacious one. I hope everyone out there in the sound of my voice is doing fabulous and enjoying this holiday season. I am the loquacious one, the one here to quit of affordable hauls coming at you real quick. I am sorry if it seems I'm going through these hauls fine, real fast, but time is of the essence. I really do believe time is precious is one thing that you can't get back. And I'm always trying to do everything so I can get as much in as possible. Alrighty, so with that, I apologize. There are people I know out there that do really, really great detailed um, videos and all that. And I appreciate them. It is just that the loquacious one is just trying to shop and let those who are on a budget know where they are good buys. Again, this is just me, myself, how I shop. I am not a thrifter or an avid couponer, and I catch sales only on chance. So I have to make those little dollars shop. So I'm very selective about what I get. When I find a great deal, I tend to get it because I know my style and my taste. It very rarely changes, and I will find a way to use it at a later date. I always try to have a stockpile of stuff on hand because impulse or last-minute shopping can be costly. All right, so what we're going to get started on is a series I've been doing um, this far uh, as far as gift presentation, ways to save on gift uh, presentation, wrapping, and all that sort of thing. Inexpensively, you know my rule, generally a dollar, uh, no more than $2.50. And it has to be on point for me to spend $2.50. The best deals, of course, if you want upgraded. Uh, gift wrap are always after the holiday seasons okay so with that let us begin and these bags today i'm showing you are all from the dollar tree i went in there and dollar tree was putting the bags out finally okay i showed some showed you some bags earlier they did on um afrocentric bags they have bags for hispanic they had the red truck trending bags, but they didn't have a whole lot of new uh, in-season Christmas bags. Now they're putting them out. Okay, so get over there really, really quick. One of the bags I found were these uh, sweater bags, which I like to call them touch me on fuzzy type bags. And this one was really cute because he had, the look at the deer. Isn't that so endearing with the braided cord handle and the snowflake um gift card i thought this was very very on point you can even use this if you're an avid crafter you can cut it out and even have it framed dollar tree has tons of frames and on the back it is the same design but it's not a fuzzy it's just regular paper so i found that with the deer i found it with this blue and white sweater bag and i thought this was so awesome with the snowflakes and the I don't know if they're supposed to be deer, but they're elk to me. I love the snowflakes on them. Very, very cute and cozy. As well as they had this beautiful red Touch Me I Fuzzy bag. Sweater pattern with the, I guess this would be a deer or elk, however you want to call it. And the beautiful gift tag and the ribbon uh, handle. Okay. Also, they had this wonderful um, holographic uh, bag. It is quite large with a satin ribbon and the beautiful matching gift tags. That is just awesome. This is the most cost efficient way to do gifts, people. And all you need is some tissue uh, paper and either wrap the gift in tissue paper or get a box. You can get boxes free this time of year in department stores when you make purchases or Dollar Tree has a ton of gift boxes. Awesome, this is by Viola. And the Touch Me bags are by Viola also. Now, going on, you know I was trending those red truck with the tree in the back those were awesome i found these these are the latest that they put out it is and how cool is this santa in a sporty car the plate says december 25th with the holly leaves and look at that he got as a sidekick the snowman 
with an awesome scarf and top hat. Isn't that cute? And they are on their way to bring that tree to you. And it has a matching gift tag and a braided red cord handle. I'm sorry about that. And next, another popular design was the red beetle. Look at it with the wreath and the tree inside. It has this beautiful uh, gossamer ribbon handle and a matching gift card. And it says, Happy Holidays, entwined with holly leaves and berries. And look at the beautiful snowflakes. Just too, too awesome. I think such great, great deals. Tons of bags, folks. Tons of bags. They're setting them out. Now, I was so happy. All right. Another option for you is boxes. And I found these. It's by Christmas House. They're gift boxes. Two-piece set. And the measurements are 4.25 by 9.43 by 1.87 inches. And these are shirt boxes. And this is a craft box. And it has jingle done in green foil lettering all the way done in red and black uh, print. It has a candy cane with the snowflake design. And on the flip side, the design, another crafty design. It says, have your, it says, have a Merry Christmas, ho, 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 Merry and Bright. And it has silver uh, foil uh, snowflakes and designs such as poinsettia, Christmas presents, and ornaments, and a tree. And these are 50 cent a box. You cannot beat them. The next design I got was this. Same dimensions as this one, two pieces in a box. It had the silver four stars with the red and the black snowflake pattern also. And on the flip side, it had a green. This is like a kind of matte green, but it has an ornament designs with red foil. Look at that. And it says merry and bright. Another trendy phrase. And this is cute also. For 50 cent a box, you cannot but you know you can't beat it. And Dollar Tree has all types of boxes, beautiful designs. They just put the bags out, folks, at least where I'm at. They may have done them in other areas, but they have tons of bags out there for Christmas. Even the jumbo bags. I showed you the bike bags and the giant utility bags, all with beautiful Christmas designs. So go out there now and get your boxes and your bags, okay? And don't forget them on tissue paper. They have the best value on tissue paper, I believe. 35 sheets for $1 in white. And they have smaller sizes in different colors and patterns. For You get less volume, but you get beautiful, awesome signs still for $1. So hold on while I'll show you some package toppers that I got. Okay, folks, I'm back with showing you some ideals on package toppers. You can use a myriad of things for package toppers. And by package toppers, I use them to add that little extra oomph to the gift, especially when I'm uh, using gift bags because I didn't take the time to intricately wrap because I'm not the best at wrapping. I throw a little ornament on there because I think it says something special. And also, they have an extra gift such as a ornament that they can reuse and utilize. They generally don't throw it away uh, if they do or give it away, whatever. Uh, I just think it makes the gift extra. <clears throat> you don't have to use ribbon and bows all the time with package toppers too. So it is an option if you don't necessarily like bows or find a bow you like or you can't you know, use ribbon efficiently or find a bow that you like. So let me show you some of the things I use. For larger type of um, gift uh, bags and boxes, I chose this one. It's glittery and it looks so rich with holographic sequence and a glitter design. This is awesome to put on a package and it lays flat. Another thing I like to dangle from the bags are these beautiful silver holographic sequin ornaments how cute is that who wouldn't like that on a package 
one of my fave fave faves is this look at this beautiful star it just says you're everything look at the look at the details this is in silver they also have uh, a design in white which I have also so you have your choice of two design doesn't that just can you see this uh, dangling from a gift bag they just know oh my god I'm getting something great or at least that you paid attention and you really cared about what you gave them even if it isn't the most expensive gift in the world presentation uh, presents anticipation which adds to the excitement of giving a gift that's I think that's what we like the we don't know what it is opening up the package the anticipation just makes the present I think that more much more everything Another thing you can use are these ornaments that you get. They're like five in a pack. And these are snowflakes. You can dangle them from their little uh, string. Or you can cut that off and you can just uh, glue them to the package. Depending on how you're going to utilize them. But these are in an affordable way and you can do five packages like that. As well as this one in the gold glitter. I can't show you. But it says Joy, J-O-Y. That is another alternative. Up here, another favorite way of me uh, presenting a package with uh, toppers are these little jingle bells. They are done in silver and in gold on a silver cord. And I thought that was pretty. This is really, really a cute way. And oh, they... Who does not just like, oh my God, when they see that gift. Now right here, all these are from Dollar Tree. Okay, all from Dollar Tree. Now at Dollar General, and you probably can get these at Dollar Tree if you can find it also. I've seen it there. But they have this metallic elastic packaging cord. It's $1 for 12 feet. And it's in gold as well as in silver and I use those to attach this uh, ornament or if you have any ornaments that you need to attach that is a good alternative you can also utilize uh, you know ribbon if you have it or if you find one that you like the cording to me is more affordable and I get more bang for my buck using that elastic cord to attach the ornaments okay also from Dollar General these uh, beautiful ornaments glitter and holographic one says no ale and one says joy and these are from Dollar General okay if you like initials you can attach these to wreaths to your stockings to any gift these glittered out initials, which you can also DIY them if you find uh, plain wood ornaments at Dollar Tree. Uh, but Walmart had them, which is where I got this one from. And it was under a dollar and it's good for attaching to your stockings, your wreaths, your gift. If you're giving a gift, it would be nice to use the initial of the recipient. Okay, not yours, but the recipients. Using them on stockings at your home. If you have several members that have stockings, uh, or you're giving a stocking, attach their first initial to the stocking. That is also a great idea. Okay, now you could use myriad of things for toppers. If you've been watching my videos for my rustic woodland farm type of thing, I will use those ornaments that I uh, have shown you there as package toppers also. Okay, so basically you just want something that will lay nice on the package or that you can attach with no problem. So it's all just your imagination. This is just but a few things that I have used as package toppers. Okay. And hold on next, I will show you some of the things I use, such as ribbons. When you want to do a bow, if you're just a bow person, I'm out there, I'm glittery, sparkly. I will come back with you on things I purchased that are inexpensive. 
Okay, folks, welcome back uh, to, to the Loquacious One channel. And I'm just showing you some of the things that you can use when doing gift presentations to show you don't have to spend a lot of money. Again, this is my taste. It may not be yours. It's just for inspiration, just to show you how to shop inexpensive venues and purchase things that are trending that you may not have thought about to use in your gift presentation. These are some, but not all of the things I use. So let's begin. The first, these are two I'm just showing you. This is metallic gift ribbon from Viola. And it's in gold and silver. It makes a beautiful, beautiful presentation. And it has the extra oomph to a gift. And again, you're getting um, 100 feet which is 33.3 yards of ribbon for $1. Next, this is my oomph ribbon. It is glitter ribbon. Look at the chunky, chunky glitter on these two. It's silver and gold. It's 9 feet. Okay, that's 3 yards. And it's 21 by 2 inch times 108 inches. And I use this, folks, also on my tree to in place of garland okay to make those beautiful wonderful loops that look awesome but how great is that on a gift really the camera does not do it justice and it is a beautiful product and it's not skimpy on the glitter and it's wire edge so it's easy to mold next is this uh beautiful um uh, it's a mesh tool with chunky you see the chunky flakes of glitter as well as fine glitter this is in silver they also have it in gold I don't know what happened to my gold but I got it in gold also and this is lovely I did a DIY project with that with this that I'm going to show you I bought tons of this in silver and gold okay so Again, if you know how to wrap and make bows, this is a nice tool to use. Also, this is from Family Dollar, by the way. I got this from Family Dollar. Now, from Dollar Tree, in the craft section, I found this sparkle tool. I got it in silver and gold. It is, um, again, slimmer than the one I got from Family Dollar, but no less the pretty but with a finer glitter and also I found this silver decorative mesh and I did DIY projects with this you can craft your wreaths and I use this along with this to do a Christmas tree mannequin and please believe me I am more than pleased and I'm not a crafter Okay, we're continuing on from Christmas House, which is covered by, you know, carried by Dollar Tree. I found this beautiful gold, look at this, sparkly wire edge mesh ribbon, nine, in, nine feet. And this I also use in conjunction with this for my uh, Christmas tree garland. Because I just, I took two ribbons and, you know... I'll fashion my loops through that. Another beautiful ribbon, and I found this at, um, you know what, I, I take that back. No, I did get that from there. I got, okay, I'm confused, I'm so sorry. Another ribbon I got was this gold holographic edge wire ribbon with this gold. The camera doesn't pick it up as pretty as it is. But this is nine foot also. This is good for making bows and doing your wreaths. And it was one dollar. And last, this is the ribbon I was getting confused. This came from Dollar General. It was one dollar. And it has the mesh design. And I use this on my wreath. So, yeah. You can see you have a whole lot of alternatives, folks, for gifting. I am just up the ante with my Christmas. <sighs> I'm trying to get it done, folks. That's all I can say. I got bags everywhere. But I am um, 
just about done shopping, I believe. You know, just a few more items. It's not going to be complicated for me this year. And hold on, I'm coming at you with cards. Okay, folks, I'm back with Christmas cards. I'm not doing a big hoopla on Christmas cards this year. I'm not spending a whole lot of money. Uh, I'm just going to show you some of the things that I picked up, you know, that were kind of inexpensive. Not a whole lot of big deal, but, you know, again, for cards, you cannot beat the Dollar Tree, okay? Uh, especially now that they're carrying Hallmark's expression line. They have a mahogany expression line. And I, for, I always forget the last line, but they have about three lines of cards. And they range anywhere from 50 cent or two from a dollar to a dollar a piece. And they're very, very beautiful, okay? You cannot beat them. So don't sleep on the Dollar Tree when it comes to cards. They're very economical. I think it's a waste. Well, I, I shouldn't say that. That's kind of unfair. But when you're on a budget, why would you spend 2 and $3 dollars? On one card, unless it was for a ominous occasion or something very, very just special that you just really want to know the recipient how you felt. But in general, people would more appreciate probably the gift or the money than just putting it onto the card. But that's subjective to the person that's giving. But let me show you some of the cards that I got. They have these left over, and these were from last year because I purchased uh, these last year. And it's the little red truck um, wood panel station wagon with the tree. It said it's the most wonderful time of the year. I didn't find boxes of cars with the red, um, with the red, the red truck with the tree on it, except at Dollar General, and they were three dollars. Okay, but they were nice. This one again, they've had this last year. It says walking in a winter wonderland with the gold glitter and the snowflakes. And I thought this was just, you know, if you just want to give a group of cards, because these all have 12 in each box. So if you're giving or mailing and you want to keep costs down, this is trendy. This is beautiful and simplistic uh, without being, uh, you know, just over the top. You don't want anything that looks cheap. I think people would appreciate this. It just gives a sentiment. and Let them know I'm thinking about you this time of the year. And here's another one that simply said, Happy Holidays. And this is just a general card I'm giving out to people at work. And all these are from the Dollar Tree. And these card holder garlands with the white snowflakes. And they have uh, diff different designs. One is with a tree, another one's with a deer, and I got the snowflakes. And these are one dollar. You clip the card onto them, display the cards that you receive, and you string them up with a fireplace or bookcase or wherever you want to display your cards. I thought those were cute. Now here come the cards that I like. Dollar Tree had a uh, display. They're on the end cap. They have their own little stand. Of homemade cards or handcrafted cards. This one, again, in that buffalo plant that I like so much, it says, There is no place like home for the holidays. And it has the little wood panel station wagon with the tree. And I like these because they wrap them in plastic. Sending warm wishes for a wonderful Christmas and a happy and a new year uh, full of promises. And it comes with the envelope also. I don't think you can beat it. Here's one with a silver uh, stag hat and snowflakes you cannot beat this awesome classic and it says may your christmas be full of festive fun and cheer again anyone would love receiving these and this one says ho 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 has a picture of santa and it says wishing you a merry christmas and a happy new year and this was one of my favorites. It has Santa with the snowman, the penguin, the uh, bear, and a deer on board to deliver the Christmas tree. How cute. In the red truck, it says Santa's pickup. It's Christmas time. And this is by far one of my favorites. 
and it says wishing you a very merry holly jolly kind of Christmas and I thought this was so cute now I found this little bag at Dollar Tree and I think it matched so I'm going to give a little gift in this just because it tends to match in color it says dashing through the snow and it has Santa in a red glittered pickup and a wreath and notice it had um, the penguin, the snowman and the deer in the back so I thought that was kind of cute if you just want to find a car in the bag to give a little small gift to that is cute okay and that is it on items I have for gift presentation and cars you know and I'm going in the last section to show you some of the things that I use uh, if you like bows, if you're a traditionalist like myself, I'm just going to show you really quickly my collection of bows. Okay, folks, just back showing you a collection of some bows that I purchased this year. Uh, I've hauled these, and I had them in videos before, but just to show you, since we're doing uh, package topping, so we're rounding off our gift presentation series pretty much. And just to show you some of the different ones that they have that I like. Because like I said, I am all about the bling. And just to show you the different types that they offer. That you can consider. I consider them looking a step above the satin curling type of ribbons that they have. You know. the There are a lot of options and... These are by Viola, which is a Dollar Tree brand, and um, I have been pretty satisfied with them. I don't think that you can beat them as far as price is considered. And they have also um, these flat bows if you don't, if you're shipping or perhaps you don't want them to get squashed, which irritates me. These gold metallic glitter bows and uh, gold and they have them in silver and they have them in um, this beautiful turquoise or Tiffany blue with the silver center and they had them in this white with gold metallic and they had them with this gold metallic with silver glitter and they had them in this silver with silver glitter Again, tons of options for bowls at the Dollar Tree for Christmas. Okay, so they have way more than this. Okay, so just to show you how you top it all off, this is how you do it. And I'm going to finish up with just a collection of glittery boxes since I'm doing this I'm just gonna round it all off and show you in case you just need a little something something they do carry uh, little small size boxes and I will hold you for one minute and bring you back okay folks and I'm back with little small boxes you can use to present gifts perhaps jewelry or something small little trinket piece that little, I had a crystal. If you got crystal little trinkets you like to give as gifts, they fit well. And also, if you have bottles of like bubble baths or something that you don't want to break, these um, metallic decorated tubes and it's tied with ribbons are awesome to give those types of gift to. This one is silver. I also have one in gold somewhere, but these are cute. And these also make uh, good ways to present your um, take-home gifts for your um, guests at uh, events that you give, such as open house, New Year's Eve, that type of thing. Those are awesome ways to present those. As well as these little gift boxes are good for um, jewelry pieces you have by Viola. They come, you know, generally they give you the white boxes, but these are just so much cuter. Just silver with the holographic designs, and they have it in gold also. These are by Viola, carried by Dollar Tree. They have those this time of year. 
Um, this is by Dollar Tree, as well as Dollar Tree carry the square holographic, which I thought is so pretty, box. They got it in silver and they got it in gold. Now, um, next, my next, my favorite place to get, really get these um, boxes are from Dollar General. I say they offer very beautiful designs for a dollar. And you can see they are pretty much the same size, but they have larger ones. So they have a more extensive range if you get in there early to get them. I just got these small ones because they're what I need. And these are also a dollar piece, but look at the designs on them. They're just so glittery and awesome with an awesome way to give gifts. And these are all from the dollar general one dollar piece. And then they go up in price the larger the size. So Dollar General for these type of boxes is your best bet. Dollar Tree comes in a very close second. You know, uh, again, you have to shop both and get in there early to get these boxes because they generally sell fast. Okay. So that is it. That is all that I have in my give presentation to show you how to decorate. I showed you package topper boxes, wraps, bows, um, Christmas wraps, uh, tins, um, about everything that I could think of that was affordable to give gifts. And I hope you uh, got something out of it or was inspired. And um, I'm pretty much, if I come at you again, it will it will be very minor, you know. The only thing I think I'm going to pick up is if I see a red truck bag, I'm grabbing it. And 